We made it to the Guinness factory. The only reason we came to Dublin, Ireland. Okay, not actually, but it was really cool and Andy does love Guinness. I was shocked at how cool this entire experience was. Like, I thought we were going to a brewery. I thought we were going to go into a big warehouse and it was going to be boring, whatever. This was so freaking cool. I went to design my house like this. Like, this was water falling from the ceiling and it sounded amazing. And then look at this next scene. Like, imagine your bedroom's just in the middle of this. It was super interactive and family friendly. There's also like facts everywhere, although I remember absolutely nothing that I read. In the yeast player! It takes you through a step by step of the entire process of making a Guinness. So here we are, supposed to be heating up. The entire room was red. There was like videos everywhere. You could learn things, you know, I browsed around. I took it in as an art experience. There were low-key some like serious people there, but couldn't be us. Also, it's massive in there. Like, I'm convinced that everybody's parents have to work here because there were so many employees and it's definitely their biggest tourist attraction. And I'm still trying to figure out how people do this. Like, I know it's mirrors, but is it possible to make it in my living room? If anyone knows, let me know. There were so many things to see. Like, you could walk around there for hours and hours. It is kind of overwhelming and redundant, honestly. So just walk through and have fun. It was really cool how they made it very artistic, like they painted all the metal blue, and it's just fun to see that art and corporate worlds can mix together and make something a really cool experience. This made me laugh kind of for no reason, but they stacked up the barrels that they would put the Guinness in like so high, I don't know, it just seemed like a cartoon to me and like it wasn't real. Hell yeah! <laughs> I could knock it over how cool it looked on the inside. Then we headed to the tasting rooms and they definitely hated us. Like Sorry, the Brown Steak Inn and those are the pots. Smells like cow feet. No, it doesn't. <laughs> cow feet. He said cow feet, not cow feet. Oh, this one's better. Yeah. So it's like, that's... Yeah, like almonds. 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 Coffee. What is this? No. <laughs> Don't smell that one. Don't smell that one. Mm. Guinness shots. Then you're going to take a generous handful of your Guinness sample and hold it on your palate for about three to four seconds. <laughs> Finally, you're going to swallow and breathe out through your nose, and you should get all of those wonderful flavors that were mentioned inside before. So on the tip of your tongue, you should get the sweetness from the malted barley, and on the middle and sides of your tongue, a dark chocolate or coffee <laughs> flavor. And then finally, at the back of your throat, a bittersweet sensation from the box. Are we all getting that? Yeah. Perfect. Well, now I'm all Guinness tasting experts. I have one to us. Oh, I forgot to smell it. <laughs> Mm. Fantastic. So good. Actually, it's pretty. We need it. We need it. We're going to start our story here at 1929. So, from 1759, when Guinness was founded, up until 1929, Guinness. While I was taking this video, a guy behind me was just waiting to take a picture, watching me do this. There was a really cool section that showed all the old commercials for Guinness. Like, this was a singing oyster, I think. And then a fish riding a bicycle. You know, it's like how much a woman needs a man. And then this room was just playing all the old commercials. I, they, they had a seal balance a Guinness. Crazy. And this is where you could print, like, your face in the foam. Then we went upstairs to the bar because everyone gets a free Guinness if you do the tour. I'm still trying to figure out why guinness are also lava lamps but it's very cool okay i'll give them that it's disgusting but it looks very cool i could be lying but i feel like this is the tallest part of dublin i don't know it had a really good view and there's no other tall buildings so definitely go there 
And even if you hate it, just, just get the content, you know, that's what we're here for. <laughs> They also had this beer, which was significantly better. And the bartender told me he pours like 4,000 drinks a day or something wild like that. And just a heads up, if you go, there are so many bachelor parties. It's just like LJT. 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 And of course, it wouldn't be a tourist trap without the merch. There's actually some really cute stuff. I got a t-shirt. <laughs> then if you go upstairs, you can get your name lasered onto a Guinness glass. This would actually be such a fun gift. And when you walk outside, there's cute little horses. So yeah, if you ever go to Dublin, Ireland, you should definitely go to the Guinness Storehouse.